Hello and welcome to Polk County, the heart of Central Florida. I'm Myrta Young, Historic Preservation Manager. Join me as we travel on the Heritage Trail to discover Polk County's rich and diverse historic places. The diverse history of the area is evident across Polk County, from city centers and urban neighborhoods to rural farms and cultural landscapes along our roads, railways, and rivers. History allows us to explore sense of place, the unique character of the county, and learn about the numerous people and events that shape the region. In celebration of this rich cultural heritage, the Polk County Heritage Trail was developed to highlight more than 150 years of county history. From historic homes and museums to Civil War sites, the trail provides an opportunity for communities to share their local history in the authentic locations where it happened. Join us in exploring the Polk County Heritage Trail. Today's installment on the Heritage Trail brings us to historic downtown Lake Alfred. The buildings that form the core of Lake Alfred's historic area represent a century's worth of history and tell us much about the development of the area. The turn of the 20th century was a period of immense growth and change in Polk County. The expansion of the citrus, turpentine, and lumber industries had a profound effect on the county. Rail lines also spread across the area, connecting to larger transportation networks to carry county goods to regional and national markets. Part of railroad magnate Henry Plant's massive empire, the South Florida Line, cut a path through Polk County and the Lake Alfred area near the former site of Fort Cummings. New transportation routes generated interest in the area, and developers like E.W. Coddington of Bartow purchased lands near Lake Alfred and leased them for turpentine production. Although the area remained sparsely populated, Coddington worked with Lacey W. Boyd to survey Platts in 1906 and named the tiny township Coddington, replacing earlier names of Juanita and Bartow Junction. Following the opening of a post office in 1909, the name changed from Coddington to Chubb in honor of Republican leader Henry Chubb of Gainesville. Further illustrating the changes in the area, successful marketing of profitable citrus groves drew investors from across the nation. After vacationing in the area around 1910, a group of North Dakota businessmen purchased several thousand acres of land and incorporated the Florida Fruitlands Company. The town's name once again changed from Chubb to Fargo before becoming Lake Alfred in 1915. The downtown buildings constructed as a part of Lake Alfred's growth highlight the development of the Central Florida region in the 1920s. With thousands of acres of citrus groves, the Lake Alfred Citrus Growers Association Packing House was constructed in 1922 to manage the shipment of locally grown citrus products. The large warehouse was situated near transportation lines and across from the bigger building, originally built as a retail center in the 1920s, the bigger building continues to anchor the downtown area today, fostering a strong sense of community as residents gather daily to peruse an antique shop or have lunch with family and friends. Additional examples of the 1920s building boom include the Lake Alfred Hotel and the Lake Alfred Bank. Although today both buildings serve purposes different from their original use, these structures represent the importance of the preservation of local history. The Lake Alfred Hotel was constructed as a fashionable tourist hotel in 1926. The stately two-story structure was conveniently located near the train depot and provided comfortable lodgings for visitors to the area. Today, the former hotel is home to the Southern Gardens Assisted Living Facility. The Lake Alfred Bank, located in the heart of town, opened its doors in the 1920s and served as a bank until the 1950s. After functioning for a time as a residence, the charming red brick building is the current home of the Lake Alfred Historical Society. The small building, only a short walk from City Hall, houses a museum rich in local history and includes exhibits focusing on early settlers, industries, and various community organizations. The Lake Alfred Historic Downtown Area provides a strong sense of place and history for the community. 
So we invite you to hit the road, discover these and all the other historic places on the Heritage Trail.